Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2021 thriller film called Sinister Switch. The movie opens up with a frightened girl crawling out of a window and running into the snowy woods to freedom. It turns out she is running away from a secluded home in the middle of nowhere. She, along with a group of other young girls, have been held captive in the house by human traffickers for quite some time. Tearfully, the girls plead with the runaway girl to come back for them. However, the lone girl apologizes and runs away. Soon, a man is heard in the background ordering the captive girls to get away from the window. The scene then cuts to a woman named Kristen Constantino, who works for a publishing company. Recently, Kristen's company has bought the rights to the story of a girl who is rescued by her mother from human traffickers. The book is from the perspective of the mother, and it is called A Daughter Lost and Found. Kristen is super excited about the book, as she believes it is blockbuster material. Currently, she is working to verify some details mentioned by the mother, especially in the last few chapters, before the book goes to press. She is also working on the cover art with her co-worker Anne. After finalizing the design, Kristen shares her apprehension about the book's last few chapters and says it sounds too good to be true. She is worried about the legal repercussions, as the mother's entire rescue story hinges on some pretty big coincidences, especially towards the end of the story. However, Anne assures her that coincidences happen, and the book has a happy ending which will win over the readers. Kristen thinks to herself and says that in stories like these, happy endings sound too good to be true. Later that night after Kristen goes to bed, she gets a call from the authorities. It turns out the police have found Kristen's own missing daughter, Olivia, who has escaped after six years in captivity. She sits in shock with Olivia's teddy bear as the police bring her home. Upon seeing her mother, Olivia runs to embrace her. However, before the two can reunite, Kristen wakes up from her sleep, revealing that it was all just a dream. The next day, Kristen gets a call from her fact checkers and learns, much to her dismay, that there are some discrepancies in the mother's story. Kristen is upset, but she reassures herself by saying that a lot of parents will still find the book inspiring. Anne is mad at the mother and daughter for lying to them, but Kristen is more empathetic and says that they went through something horrible. She further mentions that it's not easy to live with the idea that you failed your daughter. Shortly after, Kristen gets a call and almost passes out. The scene then cuts to the police station where her ex-husband and Olivia's father, Justin Holtham, is talking to a detective named Simmons. The latter reveals that someone picked Olivia up from the highway and brought her to the police station. It turns out that Olivia is the girl from the beginning of the movie. She has escaped, but is unable to say where the house is located. Apparently, it was the second ride she hitched on the highway that has made the search grid pretty extensive. Next, Kristen barges into the police station and demands to see her daughter. The pair wait as a social worker evaluates Olivia. Detective Simmons informs them that the other four girls who were kidnapped with Olivia are at the same location, but most of the details are pretty vague. Simmons believes that more details might come back to Olivia after the shock wears off. She then hands him a pamphlet of memory exercises that can help Olivia regain her memories. After Simmons leaves them alone, Kristen tearfully exclaims that it's been six years and Olivia won't be the same daughter they lost. Justin comforts her and reminds her that they finally have Olivia back and they should focus on that. However, Kristen breaks down into tears, thinking of what their daughter must have gone through. A while later, the social worker brings Olivia in, and Kristen and Justin rush to embrace their daughter. They then take her back to Kristen's home and try their best to make her comfortable. However, there's awkwardness in the air, and Olivia is understandably withdrawn and quiet. Kristen tells the teenager that her room is still there, although she has moved her stuff into the basement. When the parents fail to start a conversation, they decide to give Olivia some alone time and go to the kitchen to fetch her something to drink. Aware of the things Olivia must have gone through, Kristen is extremely nervous about saying or asking the wrong things. But being the good guy that he is, Justin again consoles her and the two take a glass of lemonade to their daughter. However, they find her missing from the living room. The parents check Olivia's room, but when they don't find her there either, they start panicking and frantically look for her throughout the house. Justin eventually locates Olivia in the spare room, sleeping soundly. The ex-couple then sit down for a glass of wine by the fireplace. Kristen points out that when Olivia was a child, she used to come back from school bursting with jokes and stories, but now she's very reserved and quiet. Kristen also feels guilty about putting all of Olivia's stuff into the basement, but Justin tells them that their daughter will understand and takes part of the blame because it was him who encouraged Kristen to move on. He also offers to stay the night, saying it feels wrong to leave, but Kristen tells him that he doesn't need to stay and that leaving was what he decided, hinting that he initiated their divorce. 
Nevertheless, just before leaving, Justin reminds her that he'll always be there for her if she needs any help. The next day, Olivia looks for her father around the house, and Kristen tells her that he has gone to work, hiding the fact that they separated after Olivia's disappearance. She then offers her daughter breakfast, but the latter turns it down. Dejected, Kristen admits that she doesn't know what to do to make her feel at home. Hearing this, the girl asks Kristen to sip his cider, and the two bond over a patty cake game from Olivia's childhood. In the next scene, Kristen takes Olivia to the basement where she had packed up all her belongings. She asks Olivia if she's upset, but the teenager replies that she doesn't mind. Nevertheless, Kristen tries to reassure her daughter that she wasn't trying to forget her. She then reintroduces Olivia to her soft toy Stephen, and the girl mentions that she remembers secretly snuggling Stephen at bedtime because she thought she was too old for him, even at 10 years old. After this, Kristen then proceeds to show Olivia more of her childhood toys. Suddenly, something triggers the girl, and she asks to be taken upstairs. Later that day, Justin brings everyone lunch. However, as Olivia proceeds to eat, he suddenly grabs her arm and stops her, realizing that the restaurant has accidentally packed shrimp, which Olivia is allergic to. Because of this, the girl freaks out and locks herself in her room. The distraught parents run after her to check on her, and fortunately, Olivia assures them that she is fine. She then starts to open up about the horrors that happened to her while in captivity. She tells them that the man who held them captive used to grab her and the girls, treating them like dolls, which makes Justin feel horrible. Later that night, the ex-couple snuggle Olivia in bed. As Justin proceeds to leave, Olivia asks if he'll be there when she wakes up. Kristen promptly assures her that Justin will definitely be there and lets him stay the night. Happy, Olivia exclaims that this is all she ever wanted. In the middle of the night, Olivia goes over to Kristen's room and asks to sleep with her like she used to when she was a child. The next day, Justin tries to talk to Olivia about the last six years, but the girl claims she doesn't remember anything. Later, Detective Simmons shows up to interrogate Olivia. She asks her about the other girls, the captor, and the house where she was kept. Olivia tells her that the captor kept the girls separated and she doesn't know anything about them. Instead, she shares a few stories about the house, but Simon finds holes in her descriptions. Visibly irritated, Olivia has an emotional outburst and she storms out, saying she never wants to think of that place ever again. Later, to cheer Olivia up, Justin suggests playing a game. During the game, they share things they are afraid of and Olivia says she's afraid of not having a family and being alone. Kristen assures her that it will never happen, but Olivia exclaims that it already has, and she knows that her parents are no longer together. However, Kristen assures her that they will always love her and be there for her together. Later, Kristen and Justin take Olivia for some retail therapy. In the parking lot, Olivia's former BFF, Beth, approaches them. Kristen invites her home and lets Olivia spend some time with her old friend. Beth gives her a welcome card signed by their gymnastics team, telling her that they can't wait to have her back in school. However, Olivia says that she doesn't plan on going back to school because she doesn't want people to ask her the same questions over and over again. Beth notes that Olivia looks different and thinks she is acting strange. This again irritates Olivia and she quickly turns on her friend. She rudely remarks that Beth can never come close to the friendship she has with the girls she was held captive with. Hearing all this, Beth freaks out and rushes out of Olivia's home. Worried, Justin goes after her and Beth tells him that everything was fine, but suddenly, Olivia started mentioning that her real friends are the girls she was with. Before leaving, she also remarks that Olivia is not who she says she is. This puzzles Justin, as Olivia previously claimed that she didn't know the other girls. He shares the story with Kristen and suspects that Olivia isn't their daughter, but a distraught Kristen refuses to believe it. The next day, Olivia and Justin get into an argument. He tells her about what Beth told him. Hearing this, the girl gets enraged and approaches Beth to fight her. Luckily, Beth calls the police, who report the incident to Justin. That up, Kristen finally decides to test Olivia and talks about memories at the park when she was kidnapped. Olivia fails the test, and Kristen realizes that she is an imposter. She deduces that the fake Olivia must be one of the kidnapped girls that were kept with the real Olivia and learned enough about her to steal her identity. Kristen demands to know where her real daughter is, and left with no choice, Olivia finally comes clean that her real name is Natalie. She is not one of the missing girls in the papers and reveals that her parents won't be looking for her. It turns out that Natalie's parents want nothing to do with her. That's why she stole Olivia's identity, so she could have a family that loves her. She also reveals that her father's name is John. Hearing all this, 
Kristen promises to help the girl find her dad if Natalie helps her find Olivia. After a while, the strange girl takes Kristen to her home. Surprisingly, it turns out that the abductor is none other than John himself, who Natalie regards as her father. Taken aback, Kristen tries to call 911, but there is no cell service. Soon, they notice that John's truck is not in the driveway, so Natalie leads Kristen into the barn. Inside, they find terrified-looking girls, but no Olivia. Just then, John's truck pulls up and the two are forced to take cover. Kristen notices another shed and she eventually finds the real Olivia. She frees her daughter and they embrace, while Natalie watches sadly. Jealous, she screams for her father, prompting Kristen and Olivia to hide. Soon, John arrives, but he calls Natalie a traitor for running away and threatens to teach her a lesson. Because of this, Kristen is forced to intervene and she confronts the abductor, telling him she has called the police. However, John doesn't believe her and calls her bluff. Just then, the real Olivia takes the distracted John out with the shovel. Natalie joins in and smashes him in the face with the shovel as well. After the commotion, Kristen takes the girls to safety and calls the police.